Public people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Cellcath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not mad enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. Yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan. And all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi.
Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the Core Worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The Galactic Senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Kakincha na wabakaon. Picha ge borang turang. Kuchi wi aita ka chong chicha. Agi uto tune chunamuri. ตรงที่ว่ามาอาทิตย์ตรงนี้ตรงที่ว่ามาอาทิตย์ตรงที่ว่ามาอาทิตย์ตรงที่ว่ามาอาทิตย์ตรงที่ว่ามาอาทิต
Muli slimo po i vanga kun viskin. Laboda na winki smak doma. Čiska da soki kupa bona na čaču, da tuka urvan. Čiska da soki kupa bona... Laboda na winki smak doma. Čiska da soki kupa bona na čaču. Uva batu konči. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kolto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith in our Kolto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. Don't think you can manipulate me, Jedi. The Republic Diplomatic Corps has to deal with the Sith all the time, so we're very resistant to mental influence. Your only real choice is to help me so I can help you. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information.
So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion, we have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. Okay, but you should know what we have to work with here first. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. Uh. 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 What do you want? You're not. Uh. You... Lies. You work for the Republic. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. But they... they wouldn't, would they? Ha! <laughs> Worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. Please, please don't hurt me. Or, what do you want? What... what companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. <laughs> no! Never! Damn! He blanked out. <sighs> uh, what do you want? What... what companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. He wouldn't talk! Or has he already? No. But he... I, I... Please, don't hurt us. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily. But they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in ways too horrible for you to imagine. Or... Uh, what do you want? Tila? How did you find out about her? No, never. Damn, he blanked out. Uh, what do you want? Tila? How did you find out about her? Yes, it could be so much easier. No, please don't hurt her. Please. All right, all right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... It's Zeta 2456988 Alpha. Just... No more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been captured. Sorry, buddy, but the hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. 
Only the Selkath authorities, and those authorized by them, are allowed in. Yeah, maybe you can find someplace else to stay. only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Hiding behind the Selkirk laws. Typical Republic cowards. Yeah? Yes? Any armor plating for my swoop bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. People who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the Embassy. Oh, really? You mean someone like you actually has some real purpose inside? Well then, what is it? Hmm. Yes, well, I... I suppose you really do have some business here. Head on in. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? You! I don't recognize you. I know the face of every Sith on this planet. We'll get to the bottom of this. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! You cannot win! <laughs> Here. 
Yeah? What? What can I do? What? Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. I'm here. Sure. The force fights with me.
Got it.
What? What? What can I do? Yes? Yes! Yes! Sure.
I'm here. Yeah? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> 